Hey guys, I'm Sean Henry from Pepperland Marketing, and today I'm gonna to tell you what you should do if you receive the submitted URL marked no index warning from Google Search Console. Now the submitted URL marked no index warning is one of the more common issues that we see uh, people run into in the new Google Search Console. And basically what that means is that a page that you've submitted for indexing, usually through your sitemap file, has been marked no index. It has the no index directive either in a meta tag or in an HTTP response. Now, if you want this page to be indexed, Google suggests that you must remove the tag or the HTTP response. Now, this, just as that definition just said, is a single line of code that you put on a single page on your website or large sections of your website um, where you're directing Google and other search engines not to include the page in their search results. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes you have some content on your site that's a little bit thin, or maybe it looks a little bit spammy, and it's just not optimal, and, and you wouldn't want somebody landing on that page if they were to click on your link in the search results page. So, but well, you don't want to remove it altogether. So um, you put the tag on the page, Google knows that they should not include it in the search results. Now, if you then submit that same page in your sitemap file, you're essentially sending mixed signals to Google. They don't know if you actually want this page indexed or not because you're telling them two completely different messages. So this warning is really uh, aimed at telling you that you, know, you have sent Google that mixed message. You know, do you really want to have this page no indexed or not? So what you should do is look at the page and decide, is this something that we need to explicitly block from search results? If the answer is yes, remove that from your sitemap file. Don't send those mixed signals to Google. If the answer is no, consider rolling back that no index tag. Um, it's possible you put, the, put it there accidentally or somebody you were working with on an SEO project in the past thought it would be a good idea to put the tag there. We've seen a lot of people do that in error and that can cause some huge problems. So think critically as to whether or not this truly needs to be excluded from the search results page. And if it doesn't, remove that no index tag. If it does, remove it from the sitemap file. So hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, stay tuned for more episodes.